if you didn't do it before you get before you got there. Listen to this. Everybody sitting here tonight, hearing this message tonight, and failing to respond to it, God writes it down. Job says, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. And God's bookkeeper does not make mistakes. Now, if tonight you need to make a confession to the church and fail to do it, and for some reason you die before you do it, when you get to the Hadean world, God locks you in. And you're going to remember that you sat here on the 23rd of August, 2004, and didn't do what you were supposed to do. That's why every time you hear the word, you need to give your full attention to it. You give your full attention to it. How many folk do you know in the Hadean world tonight? Like the rich man who may be called in your name. Just like he said, Father Abraham, send somebody. In Marshall, Texas, when I was preaching there, a young lady, beautiful young lady, came out to the church on Sunday morning. And we were doing some work at the church. And I said to her, I said, Honey, you are too smart, you're too intelligent not to be involved in ministry. And she said, oh, Brother Washington, you know, you, you're always talking about that. As soon as I get some things straight, I'm going to come on and do what I know I need to do. She walked down the steps, got in her car, and went home. And when she opened the front door of her house, her husband was waiting for her with a 38 in his hand. They had had some kind of domestic problems. And when she walked in from church, he shot her with this 38, and she was dead by the time she hit the floor. Now, they called me. I rushed over to the woman's house. And to make a long story short, I walked up on the porch, opened the door, and I saw two stocking feet. And I looked, and it was the young lady I just got through talking to. And I said, why don't you come on and get involved in ministry? Why don't you, with your intelligence, You can be an asset to the local work. And she told me, as soon as I get some things straight, I'll come on in and do what I need to do. But it was too late. Lying there in a pool of blood in the same dress she had on when she left church. What I am saying to you is life is too short. Death is too sure. Hell is too hot. Eternity is too long to play with your soul. How many folk do you know in the Hadean world that's locked in and can't get out? How many do you know that would want to get out but couldn't get out? Came to church knowing that they ought to get their lives and their hearts right and walked away and didn't do it. Died on the outside of Christ. No. Locked in. And can't get out. And the only thing that's happening now is that they're waiting For the judgment day. When Jesus comes again. 
And those of you who are here tonight and you are not sure about your soul and your salvation, you need to make your calling and election sure right now. Right now. Listen, listen, young man. Listen, 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 listen. Listen to me, young lady. Listen to me. Listen to me, mama. Listen to me, papa. Now is the time. Now is the time. There is but one date on God's calendar. And that date is now. Amen. Amen. Your today is your tomorrow. You worried about yesterday. What is your life? It is even as a vapor that appears for a short time and then it vanishes away. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an opportunity on this Monday night to make your calling an election sure. Wherever you are in this theater, I don't want you to leave here outside of Christ because hell is truth seen too late. The rich man tormented he could remember all that stuff he did. He could remember the fact that he did not do what he was supposed to do. He could remember that he ought to have done some things he didn't do. He remembered how stubborn he was. But it's too late now. God got him locked in. If you are not a Christian, if you are not a child of God, if you are not in the church that's in the Bible, I'm not talking about your mama's church or your daddy's church because mama ain't got no business with a church. The church belongs to Christ. And you need to be in the church that's in the Bible. I would not go home tonight in a church I've never seen in the Bible. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. And I don't mean, I didn't come here to hurt your feeling. I came here to wake you up. I didn't come here to say something. I came here because I got something to say. You need to be in the church that's in the Bible. If you've never seen your church in the Bible, that's one clue. It's not the church of Christ. And not only that, think about it. Everything that God made, every animal that God made, he put him in the book. He made the monkey and put him in the book. He made the bear and put him in the book. He made the birds and put them in the book. He made the snakes Put them in the book. 